Welcome to Cloud Dolls! For this video, I will bring you a winter geisha. I'm gonna use Draculara from Monster High. Our legs are not in a good shape, but I'm gonna fix them with the elastic that is special for dolls. As usual, I'm gonna clean her face. First, I'm gonna cut her hair really short. And with my hot gun, I will make the vinyl soft of the head so that it will be easy to take her out. And then with my tweezers, I will pull the rest of the hair out from inside through the neck hole. And now that she's free of hair, We're gonna use 100% acetone and take her makeup out. It's time to fix her legs. First, I'm gonna cut the old elastic. And now I'm gonna put the new elastic on with the helping of my tweezers. And I'm gonna pull really tight and close it. Cut the rest of it and that's it. Really simple. See it? They're fixed. I wanna try a new technique. I saw other doll customizers do it. I want her to sit on her knees so I'm gonna with my Dremel take the take the extra plastic around the knee joints you see the difference you're becoming to see and there she is She's sitting or on her knees. And now I'm gonna send her and clean her body from all the dirties and fat that she might have with nail polish without acetone. I'm gonna use this amazing, brilliant black synthetic hair to make her wig. And as usual, I'm gonna use my hot glue and I will start from the bottom. Geisha are a class of female Japanese performing artists and entertainers trained in traditional Japanese performing art styles such as dance, music and singing, as well as being proficient conversationalists and hostess. Their distinct appearance is characterized by long trailing kimono traditional hairstyles and oshiroi makeup. Geisha entertain at parties known as ozashiki, often for the entertainment of wealthy clients and as well as performing on stage and at festivals. Now that the wig is ready, I'm gonna put her aside and I'm gonna start the face with three layers of mist, super clear. Don't forget the mask, please. I'm gonna use my watercolor pencils. I use different kind of uh, pencils. I use Druent, Faber-Castell, Stabilo, and I'm gonna use for the soft pastels, Rembrandt. I will start giving her white soft pastels. It's a traditional makeup from Geishas. I want to start building the white color of her skin. And with a light brown pencil, I will start sketching 
the eyes and the lips as usual. I will give her brown eyes and slowly, layer by layer, I will build her face. And of course, she's going to have a black eye line that is one of the main characteristics of geisha makeup and red lips. If you want to know all the material that I use, you can find them on the description box below. Now with a little bit of black soft pastel, I'm giving it the shadow of the eyelashes. This time I'm gonna draw it. Fake eyelashes doesn't match with the geisha makeup. With my white acrylic paint, I will give her the eye catches. And I have to tell you, I'm really in love with this new watercolor pencils Druant. They are really amazing and definitely the material makes all the difference. This doll is going to be available on my Etsy shop. You can find the link on the description box below also. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel Help me to grow up. Leave your comment. I read all of the comments. They are really important for me. I want to give her little touches of gold in her face and red. And I will do it with my acrylic paint. With this white t-shirt, I'm going to make her a panties. I'm using a t-shirt because it's elastic. And if you're making a panties for a doll, you want them to be elastic. I cut it two times the same uh, mold. I sewed them and now I'm gonna sew them together in the middle, like this. All around. I will turn them inside out. And I will finish them in the back side with a big white bowl from Organza. I'm going to use this dark satin ribbon. I'm not going to use the green one. Final decision to make the inside close of the kimono. And it's time to begin to dress her up. And uh, I will tie it with this white satin rope. I choose really vibrant colors for her. Deep blue, deep red, rich golds. I want her to be really rich in colors. For the kimono himself, I choose this rich red brilliant fabric I'm gonna finish around with this gold ribbon and then I embellish him with this golden green lace to contrast the red of the kimono I sew it everything and I turn it around to see how it's becoming and I'm loving it. 
It's the first time I do a kimono. Well, it's the first time I do a geisha, but I'm really liking it. For the obi, I'm going to use this black satin lace. I'm going to fill it in with the rest of the hair yarn and close it. And I use this dark blue and beige and gold ribbon to embellish it. The rest of the obi I will construct it with the same black ribbon. And I will decorate it with these leaves. I'm going to use this nail art with gold colors and pearls to decorate her obi. And I'm going to use also some caviar pearls. And around the neck, I will give her this fur. After all, she's a winter geisha. And I'm gonna close it with this red close system. I don't know the name, sorry. That I took out of kimono, a little kimono from a child that I bought in the dollar shop next to me. I'm gonna use it to close it. Okay, I love this koi fish. I printed on my 3D printer. I printed some tea sets. I printed some Okobo shoes. They are traditional Japanese wooden sandals worn by uh, geishas. I will paint it in black acryl and red. And now I'm gonna a dry brush them with red acryl and I will protect it with a glossy varnish acryl. I will use this red, brilliant red to finish. I will sew them directly to the panties. I don't I don't intend to take them out. They belong to the traditional clothes of Geisha. So I will glue them directly to the panties. I will close them around the ankle of the Geisha and I will decorate it with the same leaves that I use in her kimono. They look so cute. The tea set, I paint them in black in the outside. In the inside, I paint them in red and then I give them touches of gold acryl. I protect everything with glossy 
varnish. I will put the link below if you want to make the download of the T-set for your 3D printer. Now with these two type of uh, green glitters sequences, I'm going to make uh, some green tea. And I'm going to use also my acryl UV lamp and I will cure them under the UV lamp for 90 seconds. And tea is ready. I'm gonna give her the stalks to eat. I sand them and I paint them in black and I protect them with varnish, glossy and also for the hair. I'm gonna paint two of them with gold. Now with my koi fish that I love it, I will paint him. And now with this Fimo sticky product, special for metal uh, leaves. I'm gonna brush it and then I have to wait for 15 minutes. And I will choose this rich red metal leaf and I will cover my koi fish. Now we're gonna continue with the hair. I already glue the wig directly to her head and I'm catching him in the back side with an elastic. I try to pull him up but he's so uh, slippery and so silky that I wouldn't be able to do that. But I love her this way also. And I'm gonna start to decorate the hair with this red velvet ribbon around her head and I will give her a lace in the back side. And of course the koya fish. I think he looks amazing. I will protect him with varnish acryl. I don't want him to lose the metal leaf. And now I'm gonna decorate it with the same leaves that I use in the shoes and the kimono. And also the same nail decorations. The little pearls, the little brilliants, the caviar pearls, and also some gold chains hanging around. It really gives me a lot of pleasure decorating her hair. I definitely gonna do it again. I give it the last touch with the gold leaf. And now it's time to put the head back to the body. I wanna give her a base where she can seat on her knees. I'm gonna use this sticker marmor paper that I'm gonna glue in a cardboard in both sides. You have like a, a gold a veins also. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna cover it with this sushi uh, mop uh, that we use to make sushi. And with these popsticks, I'm going to frame it around it. I 
I'm gonna measure everything and cut it and glue it with super glue. I don't want the stalks to move around and get them out of place. After I framed everything, I have some empty spaces that I'm gonna fill it in with my light clay. Then I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours and then I will sand it to make everything even. I will paint it with black acryl, the frame. of the sushi map in the middle I will make him dark with a mix of water black and red acryl and then I will finish everything with a dry brush red acryl around the frame It's time to protect everything with my acryl varnish high glossy. I give it two layers to make sure that nothing will be damaged. And it's time to decorate it. I'm gonna use the Sakura flowers that I use for the Sakura mermaid is the last ones. I will glue them directly to the base with hot glue. I'm gonna use some branches also. And I ordered this little plate with some sushi to complete the set of the tea. And our winter geisha is ready. I hope you enjoy to walk this journey with me. I hope you love the video and the doll as much as me. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. It's a big help for me. It's a big help for my channel. Like it, leave your comment. I love to hear your comment and yeah, I see you in my next video. Bye!